it's impossible to buy you a gift. I don't want a gift. So, this is my gift exactly. right here. Exactly. I have a great idea on how to boost Rachel's real estate exposure in the Orbit Bradshaw style, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I want to show you something. I think you're really going to like this. Seal the deal with Rachel Bradshaw. That's a great picture. Seal the deal. We got them on all the benches all over town. They're everywhere. You already put them up? Out. Yeah, yeah, I did it for you. My dad is always coming up with the sweetest ways to show us girls that he loves us. And it's always something crazy with this stupid bench ad. This is a level beyond anything in my life. I don't think he understands what the phrase seal the deal really means. Tammy! Tammy. Hey. What do you see when you see seal the deal? I'm thinking, come let me show you a house. Close it. And yeah, close, close the deal. Close the deal. Close the deal. So we rhymed it. Seal the deal. OK. Right. Catchy. Every man in Dallas will see that and want to call her for a date. It doesn't say anything about like real estate, so I just want to. Yeah, it does. Look, there's mountains in the background. Bappy, I think you messed up. I hate to have to go back now. We got to take all those off. How are you going to get those Do you know off? where they all are? They're at the bus stop, the train depot. Oh, my god. Pappy, everyone knows what seal the deal means. Are these your fishing worms? There they are, right there. I'm doing what are nothing. you doing? Nothing. I just was trying to make a friend. Make, make a, a friend. friend somewhere else. Hey. Lisa. <laughs> uh, I'll puke. Yeah. I don't want that. Ah! No. No. I'll give you $100 to eat one of those worms. I'll eat it. Give me the 100 bucks. <laughs> Put the hundred in my hand, I okay. swear. I'll go get it. Oh, oh yeah. my god. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll eat You will one. not eat that one. Yes, For a hundred bucks, I will. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I can't. Oh my god, I'm gonna puke. If he really eats, I'll throw up. Yeah. I swear I'm gonna puke. Hold it. Clean him off. <laughs> it's not going in his hand, it's yeah. Don't let him. I'll feed it to you. I'll yeah. steal it. All right, feed him to me. Okay. Ready? <laughs> Chicken. What is wrong with you? I'm rethinking this whole quarantining with family thing. Yeah, me too. That was gross. And disgusting. Ugh. Yeah, I'll take my chances with the virus. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are here. <laughs> if we have this much fun for 30 days, I swear to you, y'all can just move in permanently. Who knows what we'll eat by next week? <laughs> <laughs> the week before we went to DC, we were looking at houses in Lantana. During Valentine's, he's like, OK, I want to see what kind of rings you like. That was right before DC. Like, joke's on me. God. That's insane. Wow. All right. I'm horrified. Like, I thought, for me, I would be married, have a couple kids at this point, and then look at Dustin. Definitely cheated on me. Of course, no ring on her finger, because God forbid Dustin, like, commit to anything. Hey. 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 What are you doing? And they're answering emails. Do you not know answer an email? <laughs> <laughs> I got something to show you. Who is that? That's Dustin. That girl is pregnant? Stop it. What he's, a dick. He's already having a kid. Way to go, Dustin, you piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> I can't believe that little weasel went off and got some chick pregnant, huh? And you do know that the next guy my daughter dates going to get a full background little research done by you know what, all right? And a cavity check. You know what I'm talking about? I don't give a crap. We, we, yes, you do give a crap. That's why we're pissed. I give a crap, too. There's a reason why I'm mad. There's a reason I don't let this clown inside my circle. What else you got, 2020? <laughs> hey, 2020, you can suck my Are you cold? You have two fires going. You didn't get in. <laughs> No, you're right, it didn't. <laughs> I did not pack my swimsuit. <sighs> yeah. Hey, um, look, you know I know. I think we can both agree that you, I know I, now that you know that I, I know that you know. I just, it's been driving me crazy. So I tell everybody, which I, she tells me everything. All right, here it is. I had a little procedure. 
I got my boobs done. There it is. I told you I was like, I was, I'm a little self-conscious because I was so flat chested all the time. And I hit 30 and we were, you know, I was with Scott one day and I was like, I feel like I'm dressing like I was when I was 16 and there's just a lot of things that I can't wear and it makes me very self-conscious. Okay. So, you know, I, I, I did it in a tasteful way for myself. Yeah. And I was just a little hesitant, but I think today you throwing a pool party in February broke the ice. I would never, ever, ever not support you in anything. It's your body. Do what you yeah. want to do. I love you. Oh, and, thanks. You know, I love you, too. You're happy. I'm, you know I'm happy. Yes. Now that we've talked about it and it's out in the open, it feels really good to laugh with him again. My dad has such a huge heart, he would literally give you the shirt off of his back. And you know, sometimes his heart's just a little bit bigger than his brain. Since it's your birthday and it, it's impossible to buy you a gift. I don't want a gift. So, this is my gift exactly. right here. Exactly. We're gonna go around the table and tell you exactly what it is that they that they love about you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're first. Uh, <laughs> See there? <laughs> See no, my right, point. Right, 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 right. You've taught me to take care of myself by looking on the bright side of things, even when things seem gloomy or bleak, to always find the silver lining. You teach people to see the bigger picture. Yep. Take care of others before you take care of yourself. That's one thing you really taught me. That's nice, that makes me feel good. Dad, I really appreciate you, and thank you for getting me to sing again, because I would have never sang at NASCAR, like I was done singing. Thanks, babe. Well, I love you and happy I birthday. I love you.